Black Shay. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a wig review on this beautiful blonde lace front synthetic wig. Yes, this wig is giving me so much life. You can even tell that it's a wig, girl. You can't even tell this is a wig. Look at it. What do y'all think? Is it cute? Is it not cute? I'm wearing a sports bra right now. Alright, so let's get right into this video. Alright, so this is how the wig came packaged in this plastic bag. It also came in a hairnet. I've already taken it out. And then here is a close-up of the hairline and the part. Pretty good. And the combs that are on the inside, you have two on the sides, one in the middle and then one in the back. It also has adjustable straps on the sides. And then in the back, it did come with like um, these like baby hairs or some kind of like shorter, darker pieces in the back, which was a little weird, but... Whatever, I, I'm not planning on wearing the hair up, so it's fine. It also came with a wig cap and a little pink brush. Um, the brush works great on the hair. I think that it helps detangle it a lot. And then here's just a picture of the length of the hair and me brushing it out, trying to get all the tangles and knots out. At the beginning, I didn't have very much shedding. Um, obviously, I'm brushing like the shit out of it so it, it there was a couple of pieces that came out and then here's it on my mannequin head I can show you the little part up close the parting was pretty good the hairline was pre plucked but I still wanted to pluck it a little bit more just to make it a little bit more realistic and I think I did a pretty good job I ordered this wig off eBay it shipped to me in about three business days it came inside a bag and then inside that bag there was like this plastic ziploc bag whatever it's just like a plain plastic bag um, it was inside of a hairnet and then I pulled it out and I put it on my head and it was not cute I use a bond protective shield method to make this wig look more like a scalp here in the middle because I cannot stand when you are up on on somebody and you can see their their lace it's like girl you did not even try to hide that and then i installed it by using the gotta be glued free spray now i have used the got to be glued gel before and it holds way better than the free spray the free spray is way faster so it really just depends on like what you're trying to do free spray will still hold for sure but it's not as secure as when i use the gotta be glued gel so it really just depends on what you're trying to do the pros to this wig, I would say, for me, would be the color. I think it's so pretty. The rooting is so nice. So I specifically bought this wig for the rooting. Like a lighter brown versus like a dark brown or a black. It goes throughout the whole wig, which I think is awesome. I will be putting this wig up. Most likely, I'll just be wearing it down. As far as the quality of this hair goes, I would probably give it a 3 out of 5. I think that the wig is well made. Um, I think that the lace is soft enough, but it's obviously it's synthetic, so it's not going to be that soft. But it's soft enough for parting was done very well. I think that the hairline was done very well. I obviously did a little bit more to it, but it was pretty good when I received it. You see how like it's already tangled? The reason I would give it a 3 out of 5 because it does shed and it does tangle like a biatch. You can't go anywhere with this wig without a brush, honey, because you won't be looking crazy because this thing gets tangled so fast. The color of this wig is just so nice and I can run my fingers through it. It's not like, see, I get snags and tangled. The wig came way longer than this. It was probably, I don't know, down to my hips and right now it is just like comes right underneath my boob. I brought my tape measure so I can measure how long the hair is now that I've cut it. From the nape of my neck to the tip of the hair right now, it's about 16 inches. The top of my head to the bottom is about 20 to 21 inches. So it's fairly long. It came so much longer than this. I went ahead and like chopped it right here where, cause that's how long I wanted it to be. Chop, chop. Then I took a razor comb. I just started to cut away at this hair and layer it and try to like shape it so that it doesn't look crazy. If you're looking for a wig that you can just take up, take out of the box and put on your head, this is not the one. I had to manipulate this hair so much in order to get it to look like this. Let me pull this forward for you to see. I wish I would have like taken some pictures of it, but there was like balls of hair this big. Like that's how dense this wig was and I cut it down a lot um 
If you guys want to see a video on how I cut my wigs, leave me a comment down in the comment box. Let me give you a 360 of this wig. I like it. I really like it. I think it looks so good. I'm like, low key upset. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed this wig review. Let me know what you think about this wig in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one.